Assalamu alaikum dear ones this is your instructor Ms. Komal here and we are doing the exercise of our poem the title of the poem is the poem so we have activity B here and the first question in working with words is find words of the uh, find words of the opposite meaning in the poem so the first word is large and the opposite of uh, this word would be small or little then short and the opposite for this word would be tall and then below the opposite would be above and then few and the opposite would be many and then staleness the opposite would be freshness and sharpened and the opposite would be blunted then uh, the word is strengthen and um, the opposite would be shrivel and the word is straight and the opposite would be twisted and the word is still mean not moving and the opposite would be bellowing and then close and the opposite of this word would be open so the next uh, question that we have here is think of suitable adjectives to go with these nouns so we have been given nouns and we are going to find adjectives of our choice you may find one or two in the poem also so the first word is closet so the suitable adjective for this uh, word can be big and can be small also so the second word is nail so the adjective for this word would be twisted or hard and wind so blowing wind the adjective would be blowing so next word is grass blade so the suitable adjectives are short or small and then roots you can add uh, the adjective of long and then with the word leaves you can add the adjective of dry or green or small etc the next activity is learning about language and what we have in this activity is uh, the topic is sentences and which of the following are complete sentences so they have given you uh, different sentences and asked about the sentences and the sense of the sentences either they are complete or not which are not complete give a reason for your answer each time so the first sentence is she laughed pleasantly the sentence is complete because it has a subject as a and a verb and an adverb also so the second sentence is the large black dog the sentence is incomplete rather it's a phrase because it has um, it has a subject but no action or no object or predicate etc and then uh, the group of word is walking along slowly the sentence is also incomplete it is a sort of a phrase also because um, it has no subject has an adverb and has a gerund but uh, this is not a complete sentence so the next one is sit down it's a complete sentence and uh, we all know that it is an imperative sentence and subject you is understood here the next one is uh, the engines whistle so the sentence is incomplete because uh, it has a subject but no verb no action or object so the next sentence is they played cricket on Saturday uh, Sunday the sentence is complete as we have a subject and verb and object like uh, subject and predicate here so the next topic that we have is nouns so nouns are the names of person places or things there are four kinds of noun proper noun common noun collective noun and abstract nouns so here we have the introduction to these nouns like proper nouns are the personal names of people places or things the name usually do not uh, belong to other of the same kind the word proper here means belonging to or on these nouns always start with a capital letter like manila thomas and alamaikbal so you can notice that 
the proper nouns are starting with a capital letter and then common nouns are the names which are shared by a large class of person or things like table chair nail head man so these are the general names of the things and then collective nouns are the names of groups of persons or things of the same kind like team herd heap crowd abstract nouns are the names of states qualities or actions like honesty laughter wisdom height and poverty so the question that we have here is underline the proper nouns in the following sentences so here we have the sentences and we have underlined the proper nouns like rahil and hanif are going to karachi on tuesday so rahil hanif karachi and tuesday are the proper nouns as they are uh, being started with a capital letter then they are going on the train which leaves lahore at 2 o'clock so lahore is a proper noun in this sentence as you can notice that lahore is being started with a capital letter so you can read the following sentences as i have underlined all the proper nouns in it so the next question is make a list of common nouns in the following passage so here we have the passage and i have underlined all the common nouns here like it was a sunny day day is a common noun the children huffed and puffed as they rode up the hill on their bicycles so children hill and bicycles are the common nouns when they got to the top top is also a common noun they dismounted lay their bicycles on the grass bicycle and grass is all are also common nouns and sat on some large rocks rocks are also is also a common noun beside the road road is also a common noun far below them they could see a river winding uh, its way past a small village so river and village is also are also common nouns all the human figures below look minute like tiny toys in a make believe land so figures toys and land are the common nouns so the next one is proper noun proper nouns are the personal names of people places or things as we have read earlier so not that all proper nouns begin with a capital letter name of people like amir like john like shahid and names of places like kathmandu rawalpindi china colombo and peru and then names of river rivers like mountains oceans like indus everest then atlantic so the question that we have is which of the following are the proper nouns make a list and don't forget to put it in capital letters so here we have the hint also so there are 14 of them so 14 of them are the proper nouns um i have capitalized the first letter of the proper nouns that are pakistan saturday venus stalin anwar then madrid that is the capital of spain then captain khan then neel um it's a river and then mr jacob then fiat it's a decree and then majid islam and then united nations and minar pakistan are the proper nouns so this was your lecture today students see you in the class till then take care allah hafiz